guys to my YouTube channel. Iga mo sa liko malo, but I'm popularly known as Madam Yuji Paso Order Five, and that's on period, honey. Hello, hi guys. If it's your first time seeing this beautiful face over here, Iga mo sa liko malo, but I'm Madam YouTube, and over here we call ourselves the Five B Gang. We do our vlogs, thrift shopping galore, and so 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 much more. So first things first, guys. The link will be in the description before you even watch this video until the very last point. Iga ko sa guys to make sure to subscribe. Okay, subscribing is free. Please subscribe, like, and also comment down below on the video. Okay, so right now we are on the way to 1,000 different subscribers. So guys, please do make sure we see we are subscriber. Well, that will be a very exciting video. I haven't done a sit down video in so long. Um, as you guys can see, things are a bit different. Perfect collection going on over here. I'm trying to work on my back backdrop, but I feel like this is kind of cute, you know. Let's give it. Right. Anyways, guys, today I'm going to be doing my bag collection haul, and I'm also going to give you guys a plug on where to buy nice and affordable bags here in Durban. All right, because I've noticed that I always get um questions from people about where do I normally purchase my bags, you know. So I'm planning to plug, guys, ladies. Is on plug. Let's all have a nice statement or accessory, which is a bag. Okay, so. If you guys, guys, you know what I love perfumes, I love bags, and an end. But get guys, I'm full of something yet. If you want to talk about it in style, you want to talk about plug it. And this video is going to be about all things bags. What type of bags um do I buy? Where do I purchase my bags? And what do I look for in a bag before I even decide to purchase it? And also going to be talking about prices and also quality. So if you are planning on purchasing a bag anytime soon, then this video, my love, is for you. Okay. So not be rambling too much. Let's get straight to the bag. Hold. All right, guys. So now we are deep within the video. So disclaimer: I'm going to be looking down whenever I'm talking about the bags because over here I have my content journal. If you're an OG on my channel, then you guys I always have this content journal whenever, wherever, basically I write down my content and my points and stuff. So when I'm going to be talking about the bags, I'm gonna be also looking here so I can be able to remember. All right. So okay. Um. So basically, guys, a bag to a woman is a staple accessory in every outfit. Remember, Dala, I wasn't really like fussy about having a bag or carrying a bag rather whenever I go out. But they used to swam, you know, for a style in one, or one, you know, for a line, you would see if you would just fuss her name, who may lay my words when you're going out. If you're just stepping out of Pumeni, make sure what you look good and who put this crap, yeah, boy. So it took me time, what's in getting low routine, getting low shoot, but then eventually, here I am now, I can't leave home i can't leave a race i can't go anywhere in a bit scrap even if it's just like a mere wallet but just for me to carry a bag you know so um i eventually end up being a bag addict a bag shopaholic you know this as i like to have a good bag so invest in a good quality bag is a top tier thing okay so bag number one is my new dome bag which i bought at moonlight's oh moonlight's guys is tolo it's fun to do a letter win. So moonlight sells dresses, basically anything you call up. So um the first bag that I'm going to show you is this bag. This is the first bag that I ever purchased for myself. Okay. This is the bag that I bought when I got my first allowance. So this bag, um the reason why I bought it is because guys I love the the Louis Vuitton Alma BB, but then I don't afford to have buy that bag. So and also it does for it does have a bag like this, yeah. So I was like, because I love it's quite my SE dome, like dome-shaped bag, and also I love this bag, it's just so classy and the quality is insane. So this is the first bag that I'm going to show you guys. I bought it at Moonlight. Um, I think it was in in March, and it retailed for 180 Rand. Um, so this bag is just a simple black bag, but what I love the most about it is that it literally matches with every outfit, you know? So this bag came with um this crossover crossbody belt. Mina, I love um uh, Mina, I love you, Kwama. Isn't I'm a crossbody? I'm sorry, no, what is Kwama Ganje? No, that doesn't work for me. I'm sorry. So it came with um this crossbody um belt. So whenever I wear this um so whenever I wear this bag, I always make sure Wuti in the family it because I'm wondering what this quite my hand like yo, it's just you know I can't because in the score doesn't want to leave. So this is how the bag actually does look, you know. This bag guys was like 180 Rand. And guys, this karma when I first bought it, 
who's a swam wakalaga so my friends were whining about it and i even influenced um my friend nobody to buy the bag you know so this bag guys is very cute i love it it's part of almost every day when i'm running errands whenever i'm going out it's a good bag because it's also very spacious and you know so this is the only black bag in Nayo. I'm currently working on investing on buying the black bag, but I love this bag because of the shape and this is leather and it's quite good quality. Like you come and say guys, they are very good quality, I'm not gonna lie. And inside it's quite spacious. So I have like tissues and stuff inside but the bag is quite spacious guys um yeah it's a nice bag i only got it for only 180 rand um i bought black because black is a staple color which every woman should have even just first i should always have a black bag okay so this is bag number one that i bought from moonlight it's a crossover it's a cross body um dome bag so yeah this is bag number one and she was only 180 rand in terms of quality this is good quality i've had this bag for like i think wait i think close to six months now but the quality is insane and it would this part in jalo yeah but the quality is good um go get yourself this bag okay it's only 180 and moonlight so yeah this bag is also a dome bag guys i had to buy this bag in a different color okay if you know me we as would i love neutral colors i love nude i love beige i love brown so i also went over and i bought the very same style design shape of a bag in moonlight so this one also retail for also 180 rand which definitely is the color i was like because i already have black might as well spy nude yeah well i love this bag guys it's so classy it's so versatile also so like yeah this is this is my second favorite bag in my bag collection so i'm saying a moonlight night she was also 180 rand quality wise it's also good quality very spacious it's literally the same bag like the black one and it also came with the strap you know so like guys i love this bag i love dome dome the coolest thing i love bags which are shaped like domes dome bags are in right now there's galaxy boy like you want to oh because i'm gonna afford the galaxy boy okay so i love this girl guys like just look at her she is so stunning like she's just screaming you understand so um yeah if you want to know style is classy it's style is poly it's elegant style is look sissy this bag is a must have yeah well so i already have this bag in black and also in this color so yeah this is bag number two it's my nude um crossbody dog bag and i got it for only 180 at number three this has to be the most expensive bag that i own guys we know when i when it comes to like i'm a price that i'm willing to settle for when i'm buying a bag it's karma must only 100 trendy see if you 400 but you must figure like that game my yummy game my yummy <laughs> so, so um this is the most expensive bag that i've ever purchased for myself like guys you know the, the day in coquelis kwama i couldn't believe it i was also shook myself you know but because the bag is gorgeous she's beautiful and i love her come take yeah bro so bag number three is my brown luella duke bag which i bought for moonlight plaza luna Oakway street so this bag was 250 rand 250 for his kwama and kolonga guys but like do you blame me nyangsol nyangsol what the guys do you see this girl we are more than okay like guys i love this bag yo this bag it's giving it's giving luella dupe it's giving herms yeah bon and jay so i bought this bag for only 250 rand i'm um, going like plaza luna always streets so what i've noticed do team O moonlight plaza luna ogwe street no moonlight loso street no moonlight luna o smith they have the same bags but prices are different i don't understand why the the black dome bag that i showed you first on my collection that bag is 250 red the moonlight plaza no ogwe streets but a moonlight logo smith is 180 rand 
I don't understand why prices are different. Like, so I don't understand. But see, if you want to buy a bag, please make sure you see a let loose low smith because it's more cheaper there because the other one is very pricey. So um yeah, this is bag number three. This bag was 250 Rand. In terms of quality, it's good quality. Ile they are corner e rides, like I'm impressed guys, honestly. You can't leave Miami. Oh when they make you but then it's worth it. So it has this adjustable thing here. It's also a crossbody bag, but then also you can be able to adjust um and just try with those parties you can also put um it's quite a versatile bag and this is how it is on the inside okay this one is empty this is how it is on the interior it's very spacious it has like um i don't know what this is but it also has this inside you know zip and it also has Lendo, Lena, Yabonje. In the interior also, I love the color of the interior. It's giving luxury, it's giving quality bag, premium bag. So yeah, this bag retail for only 250 Rand. I mean, guys, I love crossbody bags. And also, is the design. guys. So yeah, it's quite a cute bag. I love this bag guys so much. Um, I mean, when it comes to buying bags, I always think about how I'm going to incorporate that bag with my outfits, yeah, boy. Like whenever I'm wearing certain colors, yeah, boy, or rocking a certain outfit or style, I'm going to show to so I can be able to blend with literally anything in my wardrobe, yeah, boy. So for me, um, neutral colors and dark colors are always a goal to whenever I'm buying a bag, yeah, boy. So yeah, this is bag number three and she's an icon she's a legend and she's the movement and i bought her for only 250 rand at bag number four it is this bag that i bought literally last year like take really it's actually a red crossbody bag which i bought like take really for only only 10 rand this has to be one of the few cheapest bags that i own this is new comments i'm there back home is kawini but um yeah so this bag retailed for only 10 rand i bought it last year in cotton late really it's my first time guys owning a red bag and i was like i need a red bag in my life i've rocked this this bag so many times when i went to the breakfast room when i went to the event um when i went to the event a playhouse i've carried this bag quite a number of times you know it's a good thing to have a bright colored bag because sometimes your office do need a pop of color you know so um it's a crossbody bag i love crossbody bags okay so this is how it looks it's a second hand obviously so it's not really in perfect condition but then we finesse it okay so this is how it looks on the inside and uh the fabric is leather this is like good leather i must say and then this is the belt this is how the belt looks on the side sit on giveaway and stuff what the hell i really got some car it's again it was only 10 rand you know but then i just love the fact that it's a nice bright colored bag and the equality leather corner is like insane so this is bag number four and she was only 10 rand moving on over this is bag number five so this bag i bought it from mr price um, i actually bought it um during um black friday it retailed for only 80 rand I was like, what the hell? But yeah, I'm a price. I was the price, guys. So it's cool me now and the because Mr. Price right now is really ridiculous when it comes to price of their clothes, shoes, and bags. Like, are we fucking HM now? Are we fucking Zara? Mr. Price, can you relax? Anyway, so this is the bag. This is bag number five. So this bag obviously it's bright colored bag and also guys um last year basically era yukama is the bright oh oh pink or green or orange so i was like i need to get a bright colored bag yeah well so i bought this bag and it was only 80 rand i bought it on online comes the price so it's a cute bag it's a very nice cute small bag it's also a crossbody bag because guys i love crossbody bags they are very convenient for me like it's everything so this is how you basically adjust the belt and then this is how the bag looks itself very small very small very chic very eric very elegant this is how she looks on the inside she's not really spacious i can only fit my phone here 
and my small wallets and like basically my lip therapy and my tissue and my hand lotion but see what is Twalaga cool yeah well but then it's a nice bag i've created this bag a number of times here in durban it's a nice cute bag that you can just grab any any day be like when you're rocking all white or all black yeah well this bag is best to carry or style when you're wearing basically like neutral colors you know so yeah this is bag number five and she was only eight red inches from mr pride now we are moving on over to tote bags i've already showed you guys my small crossbody bags on jinga manje so move on to i'm a big girls okay so these are like my current favorite tote bags um some of them i recently purchased you know but then like um yeah it's very important once whenever you're starting a bag collection you like you invest on getting a good like tote bag and also like it's quite much nice part of like on your everyday basis you know so um i love tote bags and i feel like right now i'm at the age where i prioritize investing in a good tote bag you know you need to have one tote bag which is going to be basically a dark color or a neutral color which you can basically carry anywhere and fit almost everything yeah, so um yeah um the first tote bag that i'm actually going to show you guys is this um is this nude or cream white guys i don't know but this is more like beige beige or cream white this is a tote bag that i bought from Durban Flea Market. i bought it earlier this year and this bag was only 20 rand i have created this bag multiple times it's very cute it's simple it's classy it's chic and you can grab the attention it's the number one is the color the color please if you know me you know that i like neutral colors okay so the color is insane and this is like basically how the bag looks this is the fabric it's more like e leather you know and then it also has this gold detailing thing going on over here as now zip so basically you just like clip it on like this you know and then this is the interior of the bag it's quite spacious like fun for it it's it's not that bad it's a very nice elegant bag um i love carrying it whenever i'm wearing like a jean and something white or neutral like neutral colors it's, it's a nice tote bag this is my favorite 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 tote bag Actually, this was my first tote bag what are the odds but yeah this is bag number six if i'm not mistaken and she is um from Durban flea markets i thrifted her and she was only 20 rand isn't she lovely she's so gorgeous this is bag number seven so um yo this is my ted baker it's ted baker jupiam guys okay so i bought this bag at mr price um i think three months ago um, because I wanted to get a nice bag that I can carry like on canvas, you know So like I need to get a nice big tote bag which can be black in color and preferably it must be leather, you know And Mr. Price said say no more. All right, so I bought this bag at Mr. Price. It's so big guys This bag is big. Okay. I bought this bag for I think 160 to 70 rand and I carry this bag whenever I go to campus or um, when I'm going home. Yeah, well, it's it's so nice to come this, guys. Post part time, also go over rush. You understand? So, um, I love this bag, guys. Very spacious, good quality. It's a nice bag. It's a very nice bag. And obviously, inside, I have like my, my books and stuff because I just carry this bag basically on campus. Has my stuff here. But yeah. One of my favorite tote bags also is my everyday bag. And this party pen when I'm going to campus, you know, I also do carry small things in Hambe, like anywhere else where I need to carry like lots of stuff, you understand? So yeah, this is bag number seven and she's from Mr. And last but not least on my tote bag collection um, is this girl. I drifted this bag guys last week. I went to Devin Flea Market and I drifted this bag. This is how she looks. Guys, she, she's so beautiful. I love the color. I love the color. Please, like, guys, this color is beautiful. Okay, so this bag retails for only 15 rand, I think. I think it was 15 rand. It's taking it to the Bifli market this, the, the previous weekend. She was 15 rand, and oh my gosh, the color. Like, are you stupid? Are you mad? <laughs> so, um, yeah, this is bag number 708. It's basically a tote bag. Um, yeah, it's quite... 
it's quite okay i mean it's a second hand bag so i'm not expecting it to be like over the top good quality obviously it does have some um obviously it does have some imperfections here and there but it's not something that i can write home about it's a beautiful bag and i love it so the interior of the bag is basically just plain black this is how it looks on the inside and i don't know whether it's a herms bag or what <laughs> i'm joking but it has this h over here which i'm assuming is for herms honey and the fabric basically is more like um it's leather this is leather yeah so what grabbed my attention on this bag is just the color and also because it's basically just a tote bag so this bag was like 15 rand and i thrifted it last week so yeah i haven't rocked her as yet but in terms of one guys named Kogile, so many can pay the office of rights above but yeah this is basically bag number eight of the bag haul so um i do also have like small bags which i call like so this bag i actually dressed it i think like two years ago it's currently flea markets and this bag retail for only 10 rand um it can also be a wallet if you want you know but normally i carry it whenever i'm just going to run a few areas and then i put my hand over here um i love the color and also like this fabric thing going here it's more like what do they call this thing this is leather but also it has this this weird um how do i call these things i don't know because babies on it but yeah i just love like the fabric and design and the feel and the texture it's impeccable so this bag i only got it for 10 rand and i've had this bag for like two years now imagine that so this is bag number nine or ten this bag which i got as a birthday present for my friend Lomi. shout out to my girl so this is basically like more like a wallet you know um i just love the fact that like my friend understands me that i'm a minimalist and i love neutral colors so it has brown nude and this leopard thing going on and then this like nice green it's a nice small portable bag and also has this for me to carry my food better it's a wallet basically but i don't really keep all my stuff for it's why i mean like it's just a simple wallet but i just love the fact that it's so small and you know it's a cute bag so this bag was like a birthday gift i'm not sure how much was it but it's from mr Pat. okay guys so now that we're done with the bag haul so right now it's time for us to talk about um the quality of my bags how long have i had them and my honest review basically about the bags that i've purchased at moonlight okay so for me i normally purchase my bags at mr price and legit and moonlight and also i drift my bags you know and whenever i'm buying a bag i always want to make sure we see i never overspend unless i want to buy a really really expensive bag of which i don't have as yet you know the only expensive bag that i currently own is the one which is bag number three the one which we told for 250 rand that's the only expensive bag that i have right now in my collection so um i normally buy my bags basically in retail shops and also thrift my bags you know but then for me i find that sometimes the bags that i drift they are more good quality because guys things that people thrift some things which are sold in my thrift stores and simply they are clothes or their bags from like international stores or international brands yeah but why they are rejects or are why they are second hands yeah but so for me when i'm buying a bag i i, I just always prioritize like um is the color going to be able to coordinate with all my outfits i also look at the price you know and i also look at the quality yeah well because you don't want to spend so much money on a bag which is not going to last you for like even a year or two years yeah well so it's very important to see whenever you plan on buying a bag you look at all those aspects is the bag going to be able to coordinate with my outfits is the bag actually good quality so to anybody out there who basically wants a plug or way to buy nice and affordable bags here in durban or anywhere else um firstly here in durban i would advise you to you can buy your bags at moonlight and also at blaze they have nice bags there and they good quality and when it comes to retail shops um 
for me personally when it comes to retail shops i've only bought bags at mr price so far and legit and using parts like actually kwamazami and you would be in her you could go to pena valley um if it's crumbles of a wood when it's crumbles of the wall and you always carry that bag every day it's come to just okay pena valley yeah also always make sure that whenever you're buying bags or you're trying to create your bag collection just try to have um different types of bags in different colors okay so just try to make sure to build your collection by trying to buy different colors and different styles and make sure with whatever that you decide to buy make it be a color which you know can literally fit any occasion or any outfit okay. the end of my bag collection haul hope you guys are going to find this video very informative and also very entertaining um i love bags bags are the most um beautiful thing that god ever invented for us women so um yeah when it comes to you come and make sure you just come sing so ladies please do make sure you go and check out the base that i mentioned so you can also go and buy nice quality bags just so we can all look good on a budget okay Okay, so that was my back collection which you guys requested. So here it is now. Madame has given you the plug. Okay, so my plug, you understand? I'm still the gatekeeper. I'm full of sugar and extra. I'm full of butter. I'm a big, I'm a friend. Okay, so hope you guys always find this video very informative and also very entertaining. So yeah. That's it for me, guys. Ten years was where do I buy my bags, and also what do I look for when I'm going to purchase a bag, and how much money do I really spend on buying bags? Okay, so yeah, for me, when it comes to bags, I always want to make sure that I have a versatile collection of bags. Nas was whenever I'm going to a party, an event, or I'm going out, or I'm just going to run errands, I know which bag to just carry or which bag to grab. Yeah, well. So yeah, and also whenever you're trying to build your bag collection, take your time. Just take your time. The most important thing here's initially to the guys will see always invest in buying bags which are going to be neutral colours. Unga been a king of wood soon in the office when I go manage in mindy. It's come as a cost pinky, si greeny, si orangey. Okay, make sure you invest on buying neutral color, neutral color bags, and also quality bags. So we reached the end of the video. Please don't forget to like, to comment, to also subscribe, and also guys, cool it down on the comment section. Ladies, down in general comment section, la pana uti um. When do you guys buy your bags and also which bag was your favorite on my collection and also please let me know what you pay can i also try to buy bags here in durban because i can't know all the places here so and maybe they have a better plug for me to go and buy bags you know so feel free to comment down in the comment section below all right so from madame she was order five and get you guys being a cold flower with ghosty payment and that's on period Bye guys!